Today's lesson is 7.4. Today's lesson is multiplying fractions. Our essential question, how can you use an area model to show the product of two fractions? Let's investigate. Jane is making reusable grocery bags and lunch bags. She needs three quarters yard of cloth to make the grocery bag. A lunch bag requires two thirds amount of the cloth the grocery bag needs. How much cloth does she need to make her lunch bag? <clears throat> so two thirds of three fourths. <clears throat> if you have a piece of paper, you can fold the sheet of paper vertically into four parts using the vertical folds as a guide and then shade three of them yellow. So you can see here in the picture. Fold the paper horizontally into three equal parts using the horizontal folds and guides and shade two thirds of the yellow sections blue. Count the number of sections into which the whole sheet of paper is folded. How many rectangles are formed by all papers in the fold? If you folded correctly, you would have had 12. The answer would have been 12. Now, what fraction of the whole sheet of paper does one rectangle represent? Well, if you've got a piece of paper and you've got the 12 folds, which is what you should have had, Trying to get that 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go, 12. Um, one of them would be 1 twelfths. Now count the sections that are shaded twice and record the answer. And the answer to that, if you folded your, remember you had to fold them into four equal parts and then you had to shade three yellow and then you folded them into three equal parts and you had to fold them and you colored two yellow. The answer should have been six of the twelves or one half would have been shaded double so that would be these so the answer is one half yard of a cloth to make a lunch bag <clears throat> we um kind of got into the algorithm yesterday so i just wanted to go over it again so if i have three fourths of which means times two thirds i can do three times two which is six and four times three which is twelve so there's my six twelves six twelfths can reduce into the one half. Explain why you shade two thirds of the yellow sections blue rather than shading two thirds of the whole. Well, since I'm finding two thirds of three quarters and not two thirds of one, I only need to shade two thirds of the yellow. Let's analyze. What are you finding if the model shows one half of a sheet of paper shaded yellow and one third of the yellow section shaded blue? Well, you're finding the one third of one half or one third times one half, which is one sixth. All right, let's make some connections. You can find a part of a part in different ways. Margarita and James both correctly solve the problem one third times one three fourths using the steps shown. Use the steps shown to show how each person found one third of three quarters. <coughs> so here's how Margarita did it. She shaded the model to show three quarters of a whole. So let's shade the model. One, two, three. So there's three quarters of a whole because it's broken up oops it's broken up into four parts which is what the bottom is and the top is what we shaded and that's the three parts how many one quarter pieces did you shade well one two three i shaded three of the one fourth pieces to find one third of three quarters circle the one third of three one chord pieces that's shaded so one third of the three quarter pieces that's shaded what part of the whole is one third shaded? Well, it's, as you can see, one fourth, right? One fourth of the whole. So, one third of three quarters is one fourth. Okay, now let's see how James did it. It says shade the model to show three quarters of the whole. So, here we go. One, two, three. So, we're going to do kind of the same thing. Divide each into one, each one fourth into thirds. Okay, so this, I'm going to get a different colored pen here. So now I'm going to divide those into thirds. So each of these is going to be divided into thirds. So I'm going to divide each of these into thirds. Okay? So now which, what part of the whole in each piece is a small piece? So now this little small piece is... Let me get my light on again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
So now this is actually 1 12 by the way they did it. Okay, so now to find the 1 3rd of 3 quarters, circle the 1 3rd of each piece <coughs> of the 1 4th shaded. How many 1 12 pieces are circled? Well, if I do that, I'm going to have 1, oops, let me get my light on. I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, right? Because 1 in this one, 2 in this one, and 3 in this one, because those were the shaded areas. So then that means I'm going to have 3 of the 1 12 pieces. So 1 third times 3 quarters is 3 twelfths. And 3 twelfths can be reduced because 3 goes into 3 one time. Oops. And 3 goes into 12 four times. So the answer is 1 fourth. Both students came in to the same answer. They just did it slightly different. All right, for this next one, it says to pose a problem that can be solved using the equation above. <clears throat> so you simply just need to write an equation that includes these numbers. So here's an example. There were 3 quarters of a pizza left. Riley ate one third of what was left. How much of the entire pizza did Riley eat? Again, we're using the numbers three quarters, one third. So you can use any of the numbers, just write your own problem and any person that you want to ask in whatever situation you need that. There's no wrong answer on that one. So let's use the model to find the product down below. So we have three fifths and one third. So as you can see, they broke it into <coughs> one, two, three holes. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five going across, and then like the three here, we have three going down. And the shaded area on the three fifths, they shaded three of them. One, two, three. And on the one third, they shaded one of the one third. So you can use the model, or you can simply do like we did before. Three times one is three. Five times three is 15. So the answer is three fifteenths. Um, over here we have two thirds times three fifths. So again, two times three is six, three times five is 15. So the answer is six fifteenths. All right, let's do a couple of these problems. I'm gonna do number four. So we have three times one, which is three, and four times three, which is 12. We can reduce that because three goes into three one time, three goes into 12 four times. So the answer is one fourth. Let's do this next one. Three times two is six. Eight times three is 24. Again, this one can be reduced. Six goes into six one time, and six goes into 24 four times. The answer is one fourth. Let's do this next, this last one here. Three times three is nine. Five times five is 25. That one cannot be reduced, so our answer is nine twenty-fifths. All right, you can do the rest with your partner or I will be up front if you need any help. Good luck.